Hi, today we're going to be looking at mean, median, mode, and range. We're going to start off today by looking at mean. Mean, how do I find the mean? Step one, add all the data. Step two, divide the sum by the number of add-ins. We're now going to see an example of how do I find the mean. We have a chart here that shows Sue's test scores. Test 1, 2, and 3, and what her scores were on that test. We're going to add all of her scores together. 80 plus 70 plus 90. You can see them going all the way across here. Our sum, when we add them all together, is 240. We're now going to take the sum 240 and we're going to divide by 3. Okay? And we get 80. Sue's mean test score is 80. Another word for mean is average. So her average of all three tests were 80. Now we're going to look at a few examples of how to find the mean of each set of data. If we look at number one, we're going to add first 26 plus 20 plus 23 plus 24 plus 27. So I'm going to add, and I want you to do this on your paper with me. Don't let me do all the work. 26 plus 20 plus 23, plus 24, plus 27. All right, we need to add all of these up first. Now, some of you might think back, what are some easy ways to add this many numbers together, especially when we have double digits? You might want to find numbers that equal to 10. That sometimes makes it easy. And if you look closely, that really makes this problem easy. If we take 6 and 4, that gives us 10, and 3 and 7 equals 10. And now we have a really easy um, addition problem. 10 plus 10 is 20. So we're going to put our 0 down here and carry the 2 over. And now we simply only have to add up our 2's. We can count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and we can multiply it by 2, which gives us 12, or we can simply count by 2's. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. Either way, we're going to write the number 12 next to our 0, and total we have 120 as our sum. Now, we've only completed the first step of finding the mean. We have our sum, which is 120, and now we have to divide. And in order to divide, we have to know how many add-ins we have. How many numbers did we add together? So if we go back to problem number one, and we count how many numbers we have, one, two, three, four, five, we now know we have to divide by the number five. So I'm going to take 120, and I have some space right here, <clears throat> and we're going to divide by five. Now, we first look at the first number in our problem, and we have a one. We can't simply put five into one. So we have to look at the next two numbers, and we have 12. Five can go into 12 how many times? Two, you are correct. I'm going to simply erase that because I don't want it to interfere with our problem. So we're going to subtract by 10, and not forgetting to put our two up over the two because we couldn't put anything into the one. And sometimes I like to put an X there, kind of showing that that place value doesn't work. So we have two times five equals 10, and we subtract. And we get two after subtracting, and we bring down our zero. So now we have 20, and we have to figure out how many times does five go into 20? Hmm. Let me see. I could count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20. That's four fives. So 4 goes above our 0, 
and 4 times 5 we know is 20. So I'm going to run out of room here a little bit, but just to show you, I am subtracting, and we get 0. So our problem is complete. We have no remainders, nothing left over, so it ends in a complete whole number, which makes things easier for us. So the average, or the mean, of number 1 is 24. And if we go back, our first step was to add, which we did here. We added all of our numbers together. And our second step is dividing, which we did over here. And we finally come to our answer. The mean is 24. What I'd like for you to do is try problems number 2 and number 3. If you need to, you can review um, problem number one and how we did it by simply going back on the video and rewinding. What I'd like for you to do at this point is please pause the video and try number two and number three. Please take your time, show your work, please be sure to write down all the numbers you added together, and then show me how you divided the numbers. Those are the two things I'm going to look for tomorrow in your notes from this video. Please be sure to write it on a separate piece of paper and bring it with you to class so we can simply review this at the beginning of math class. Go ahead and pause the video now and try your very best. And when you are done, you can go ahead and push play and we will continue.